Hello everyone! And now we're moving on to phosphorus. Now what phosphorus does for our plants is it plays a vital role in our plant's DNA. Which it helps build the proteins in our, for our plants and it helps with every aspect of the plant from stimulating root growth to making our plants strong and help improve our flower formation so we don't have any deformations so or imperfections in our female flowers and in the male flowers um it helps with seed production which helps them develop better as far as it fully develop, helps fully develop the seeds, more viable seeds, I should say. Makes the overall fruit more uniform shape, so it helps with the structure of your pumpkin. It helps, and it helps basically with the plant's immune system. It helps fight off any diseases that the plant might encounter. And so yeah, like I said, it helps from root to fruit. And as far as what a deficiency from phosphorus would look like, it's one of the harder ones to, to, to diagnose, to see in the plant. If you are going to see a deficiency, it's going to be in the older leaves in the older part of the plant and it may the leaves may be more of a darkish bluish green color and like the stalks and stems might put on a, a little bit more of a purplish color and also you'll see it with the fruit formation which there's a lot of variables with the how the fruit is forming and which could be how you pollinated it um, if the female flower had any um, deformed lobes so and this is what makes a phosphorus efficiency so hard to diagnose because there's a lot more variables that also play with what a deficiency in phosphorus could be. So, unfortunately there's not much help there. <laughs> but, what can be more of a help to us is what happens when we put too much phosphorus in the ground for our plants. So now we've moved to the toxic levels of phosphorus. We've added too much because maybe we thought more phosphorus in the ground equals better roots, better flower formation, better fruit production, and whatnot. But what, night, um, what phosphorus does when we add too much and there's too much in the soil is it starts locking up nutrients. It will interfere with nitrogen and the plant's ability to absorb it. And we all know what nitrogen deficiencies does to the plant. Phosphorus will help with, help with that deficiency in creating it. It'll lock up more of the micronutrients to the point where the, there will be a deficiency in the plant from that even though there is plenty of my, of the micronutrients available to the plant in the soil, the phosphorus will stand guard and hold those nutrients back because there's too many of the phosphorus blocking the pathway. So then, as you can imagine, the overall health of your plant is going to suffer 
there is going to be stunted growth. The leaves are going to be yellower. And if this problem consists, continues on, I should say, your plant may end up dying. So we, so we need to try to maintain balance of phosphorus, not be, feel that urge to add more, thinking that it's going to help with the roots and the flowers and the overall health of the pumpkin itself. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Phosphorus, what it does for your plant, and what can happen if we add too much. So next week, we are going to cover potassium. So, until next time, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.